What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, just got back from a vacation. I feel good. The weather is finally cooling down. Um, it's like shop door open type of weather. Uh, it's closed right now because I need to do some cutting and I just figured I would uh, open this video and kind of explain what I'm doing because I think it's going to be pretty cool and it might be able to help a lot of people out. So um, basically today's goal or this week's goal is to really get this thing on the ground. And the only thing preventing that now uh, is the upper control arm bracket, I guess is the term, the upper control arm bracket? Yeah, frame side bracket. Up in there, let's see if I can get that. Yeah, you can see where the drive shaft is right now. It is over the top of it. So you can see the upper control arm bracket here and then look at where the drive shaft is. It almost appears that the drive shaft is underneath the upper arm. And that's because it is. It is literally underneath it um, at full droop. This is literally at full droop right now. And so in the drive shaft's path, it does contact that upper bracket just a little bit. So um, ways around this are, um, the easy way, I guess, would be to go to the passenger side and then only have to worry about dealing with the exhaust, which seems to work in most cases relatively easy. And you have plenty of room over here to do whatever kind of triangulation you can fit and all that stuff. But on paper, the upper arm has more control when it's above the diff. So I think I can pull it off. Um, by doing what I'm doing here, I'm saving over an inch um, as far as off the ins like offset off the inside of the frame. So I'm using a TMR lower control arm bracket. And what I didn't do is weld up the top plate. So normally there's a plate that gets welded on there to make it even stronger. And then you weld that to the bottom of your frame. So it would sit something like that. And this bracket is three and an eighth inches wide this way. And this seems to be one of the um, the slimmest uh, control arm brackets that I could find. And I do like its V shape because A, it looks cool, and B, I'll get more um, surface area to weld to. Um, but what I don't wanna do is just weld that thing straight to the frame because going to a three link, there's going to be an extreme amount of pressure on that upper link. So I want this thing to be very solid. And so I'm going to take a couple notes from their um, three link bracket that I'm using and that wraps around the frame. So you have a quarter inch steel plate that wraps, that hugs the frame and then you get to weld to that and then you get all that surface area to weld around to the frame itself. Um, so I also got um, some quarter inch steel and I'm gonna cut this out. It's gonna make more sense in a minute, but really imagine that this right here is the inside of the frame this is going to sit like this and my upper link is gonna go this way. And instead of welding right here, you know, cutting like a four inch sheet and just welding this to this plate, um, I'm actually going to cut it out so that way I can sit them flush and that'll save me another quarter inch because um, I think that's how close this is gonna be. So everything I can save and I can probably even maybe shave a maybe another quarter inch off the bracket, but um, we'll see. This is, if this doesn't work, then I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'll probably have to move it to the passenger side, but, um, I do have faith in this. All right. So I actually just pulled the upper bracket off and I totally meant to take some videos, but I did snap some pictures. Um, so hopefully I remember to put those up on the screen here and you can see that the drive shaft is probably about three quarters of an inch intruding onto the, um, bracket. And you can kind of see where I trimmed the bracket already. Um, and that did help, but the amount of um, down travel that I'm running, it just, uh, the axle does move quite a bit laterally. So I'm trying to put together a little demonstration here of what I'm doing. Um, this would be the upper bracket. You can see that these would slip around the frame. And now I'm just going to be boxing this onto the frame um, with some reinforcements. Um, that'll be easier. I'm sure you'll understand that better when I actually do it. So. You can see from the top down, it's hard with the wide angle. Let me see if I could flip it in the same clip. Yeah. You can kind of see now how much I'm going to be shaving off. So 
see that much. That's almost, that's probably about an inch. Um, it should be an inch from what I measured. And I do really think that that's gonna be enough to get me that, uh, that clearance that I need. And if not, I think when I do the alignment, I think I'm gonna be very close. So if it does contact, when I do my alignment, I think I'll just push the front axle over until it clears. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna work on uh, fitting that bracket up there and see what happens. All right, so uh, I managed to get something done with that bracket. It is on the Jeep right now. It works, let's go. Uh, let me show you guys what I'm doing. So the axle right now is at full articulation. I have the shock attached over here. So I know that's where this side is going to end up. And I do think if the axle comes up this far on this side, we have issues. Um, a 37 inch tire is not going to fit inside the fender well. So I do believe that this is up higher than it is, uh, than it's actually going to be bump stopped at. Yeah, it, it must be. So let's get onto there. Drive shaft is in there. Um, you can see I made this little, let's see if I can shove the camera. Oh boy. Well, you can see the plate I made. Oh man, that's tough to see. But you can see the joint is now, it's now vertical instead of horizontal. And I made this plate here. So I get surface area underneath to weld to. And then as well on the top is what I tried to show you up here. Um, this is the actual lower control arm bracket, and I extended this out here. It's kind of hard to see. I can't really get a camera in there with all these bars and exhaust in the way. Um, let's get a shot up here. Yeah, so now you can kind of see it. Sorry for how dark it is. And uh, yeah, it seems to clear. I can fit, I can fit my hand in between the drive shaft and that and i do think this is an absolute extreme situation um i really do think it's going to be bumped a lot lower than that is right now so um whew, i'm gonna play with this thing some more and make sure it's all good so i think what this means is that i gotta pull that bracket off and finish weld it and then i think that means I can weld this thing up and put it on the ground. So now that I have the axle in place and that control arm where I want it, there's one major thing that I need to check uh, besides the drive shaft, and that is I need to make sure that the joint is not going to bind up as it rotates this way. Uh, right now it's kind of, yeah, it's like parallel with the frame here. That's like where the joint is running. So, and this thing comes down quite a bit, as you can see over there. So I just need to make sure that I'm not going to completely um, destroy that joint. And if um, I do need more down travel, I'm gonna have to kind of modify this and angle it down just a little bit, which is gonna be a little tricky. Um, it's doable, but we'll see how this goes. What's up guys? It's now the next Monday. Uh, it's like literally a week has passed in this video now. Uh, we had a crazy weekend and we took care of a lot of I'd rather be wheeling stuff. And uh, so today we're back at the shop and here's a cool sight. We got both Jeeps in here. OG Alana and Alana. I don't really know what to do about that whole naming situation. Um, but anyway, uh, the reason this Jeep is in here, the old Jeep, is because I got a new set of tires. Um, this is actually the nicest tire out of the bunch here, and I might actually save this one, but like, if you come up here, the thing with these Nittos is that they just dry rot, like even new ones kind of dry rot a little bit, but these ones just look really bad, and they're just not worn evenly. This one's, this one's like really bald. I mean, they do have a little bit of tread. They're not complete garbage, but they're pretty garbage. A friend of mine gave me a really good deal on a new set of 35s for this thing. And it's going to look awesome. Um, I'm just going to keep these wheels because we're going for the whole budget thing. I bought all four of these wheels and tires already mounted for $100. So that was like a no-brainer for this thing. 
Um, and yeah, so now I'm gonna have some decent 35s on here. And I'm just gonna slowly pick away at this thing and make it into something like decent. I'd love to have something that I can just wheel um, while I finish this thing up. But mainly, I'd like to keep this low budget. And uh, you know, I still wanna do it the right way though. There's people out there that would just freaking go to the hardware store and spend $2 and just drive this thing into the ground. And I don't, I don't know, I just, I'm not like that, I guess. So gonna get these wheels and tires off get the rollers on here and then you'll have to wait and see what this thing looks like with the new tires on there until probably the next video wow and just like that we're back to stock form i have these jk wheels always laying around because uh this jeep didn't fit on a trailer um so i needed the skinnier wheels and uh they're good for stuff like this so um this is super sketchy but i promise it's not going anywhere i'm only going up the block and then i'm just going to put those right into my truck and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get the heck out of here because I still have to fit all this stuff into the back of my truck. And then we're gonna get that up to Goonies Garage tomorrow, have them mount these, and this thing is gonna look pretty good. If you guys are curious about uh, what I wanna do with this thing, a um, couple things. I need you to like this video and all of my future videos that you watch because that seriously helps me out. Um, and that's going to allow me to do, that's gonna change the plans for this thing. So. Um, like this video and uh, I would really appreciate that. And then if you want to you know, hear more about it, let me know and I'll uh, maybe in the next video I can make a little section talking about it. It's gonna be pretty cool, I think.